Hello. So it's day five of our Scotland van life in trip. And this morning we decided to have a change of plans. We've left Loch Lagan and Creag Meagadig, wherever it's called. And we've come to Aviemore, where we have booked onto the Glenmore campsite uh, for the next few days to take advantage of the Cairngorms National Park and the surrounding area. We've got some absolutely golden stuff lined up. And look at this, look. We're on a beach, man. We're on a beach. We've got Loch Morlick, okay. We've got an ancient forest behind us. And it was a grand total of three minutes and 23 seconds from where we parked the van and where we're gonna pitch up. Absolutely delicious. And we walked the long way. We walked through the woods. We walked the long way to it as well, which is <laughs> even more insane. To top that, <laughs> we're literally a stone's throw from the facilities of the shower blocks and the toilets and the cafe and that as well. And this place, I've only been here, we've been here what? About six minutes, literally parked the van up and jumped out. They do kayaking, there's a cafe, paddle boards and all that sort of stuff down there. We've got our own kayaks, which is what we are going to be doing today. We're going to rest our little achy feet from all the hiking. We've just been into Aviemore itself to pick up some supplies. And uh, I've treated myself to a new pair of hiking boots. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I've got a new pair of Mindles, which are looking oh, so comfortable. They're the best. So once I've tested them out, I might even do a little review of them later. Anyway, hit subscribe. We'll see you soon and we'll add to our day five video as we go along. Okay, so we just walked down to the Water Sports Centre and Boatside Cafe um, on Loch Morlick, um, which is easily accessible from the Glenmore campsite, literally a 100 metre walk, if that. Um, onto the actual beach itself. You can hire a kayak and a wetsuit here for 18 quid an hour. Uh, paddleboard is 20 pounds. They do boats and kayak, um, canoes and boat trips and all that kind of stuff as well, which is pretty smart. The cafe serves paninis and coffees and sandwiches and cakes and that kind of thing. It's a really, really, really nice place. Um, and this is all inclusive. It's, it's actually, this beach is designated for the site. Uh, which is good and I think for the three nights uh, to stay here on our pitch we're allowed an awning with our camper van uh, there is an electric hookup option if you want that for, for tourers and caravans and stuff um, tents as well and the whole thing's only cost us £78 bargain we have hit the jackpot with this place you have in walking routes of all Cairngorms uh, the Cairngorm Mountains, the ski centre is just up the road as well. Uh, there is so, so much to do here. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we've reached the facilities block. Um, you can buy Calagas here, uh, 32 quid for a six kilo is that, 36 for seven kilo of butane. There's washing machines, tumble dryers, washing up sinks, iron dining boards, all pretty good. And then we've also got showers, toilets, Obviously, I'm not going to film in there for obvious reasons. But I've been inside and they look very clean and good facilities. Drinking water. Grey waste dumping. There's also chemical waste disposal available on site as well. Pretty good. It's a nice site, a very nice site. It's big as well, it's very big. Uh, literally directly opposite the site is the 
Glenmore Visitor Centre. We haven't been in there yet. We'll have a look there later. I'm sure that gives you all details of all the hikes and trails that you can explore here and other activities you can do. This is the size of our pitch. So we have our van there and we've got all that space to put our awning up as well. Plenty of room, loads and loads of room. It's very, very good. Glenmore campsite. Check it out if you're in this part of the world. So we are just leaving Glenmore campsite. And as you can see directly opposite is Glenmore Visitor Centre, which is handy. There's bus stops just outside. There's a little information um, shack at the entrance to the campsite. It gives you all the bus timetables and stuff like that if you want to use the public transport to get about. Let's go and have a look and see what's inside here. Park in here. If you come this way, there you go. Some information for you. So, literally, a two minute walk from campsite at Glenmore and the visitor centre is the reindeer centre. And here is the only herd of reindeer that's wild in the UK, right? I think so. You think so? I now it's 10 till 5 daily. What's the time now? Quarter past? Quarter past five. Four. 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 Quarter past four. We've got 45 minutes to have a little quick wonder then, yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on then. Let's go inside. Go on then. Okay, so we have come to the little radio centre where the paddocks are. There's a small administration fee. It's only four quid. Help feed the reindeers. Where shall we go first? We'll go this way? That way. There's a little house. Little info screen and a little sit down. Another little elf house. Uh, kind of cute. Welcome to the elf's bedroom. We are out causing mischief just now. <laughs> Come on, why don't you see if you can find us? Something for the kids. <gasps> I can see a reindeer. She's off, look. She's like abandoned me already. We'll go in there in a minute and go and see the reindeers. Dun, 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 follow it round. Here they are. Hello, mate. Got little horns. Two white ones over there. Sharing a paddock with a couple of ducks. And he's the king of the hill, this one. Huh? He's obviously the daddy. Cute, isn't they? Looks like they're coming to say hello. 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 You want a scratch? Is there any food? No. Can you get food and feed them? Look, they're still here. So, Atlas still growing. You want a stroke? Maybe not. They're losing their winter coat, aren't they? You're just like a photo op kind of guy, aren't you? Huh? Yeah. Come for a selfie and a picture. Huh? I love how interesting. There's a little exhibition in here. 
Learn about what lives and grows. Okay. That's obviously where they sleep. The paddock, there's none in there, they're all in the fields. Take a little walk through it. It's only a small little place, but it's kind of cute. And how can you not help support a little good cause? And come and see them, some of the antlers. I'm walking through quickly so you can see it. How reindeers are used, where they're used. Make your own antlers, there's an idea. Should we make our own antlers, babe? There's instructions. <laughs> right, we're gonna make our own antlers. <laughs> okay, we are at the make your own antlers with full instructions. Step one, make a headband by sellotaping a long thin cardboard strip in the size of a circle of your head. Okay, get some cardboard, get some sellotape. I oh, know the long thin one, that one. Got it wrong already, and it's for kids. <laughs> one of these I needed. Karate kid stuff. Stake that would be easy, yeah, but there you go. Right. Okay. Right, step two, choose which antlers you would like to make. Bull, male, cow, female, calf, young. I'm a bull man, I want these ones. Draw around your chosen antlers on the short wide cardboard. Oh really? Okay. Draw around it. There's one and another one. I'm going to have red antlers, I think. Let me just push this down there so you can see what I'm up to. Right, so I've got a drawer around something. I've got a little template. Right, draw them around it. There you go. Now I've got to cut them out. Where's the scissors? Cut out my antlers. I feel like I'm on them. Is it like Blue Peter or like Art Attack or something like that? Yeah, definitely. It looks like it. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> cut around. You're just jealous because you haven't, you ain't gonna have antlers, and I am. Cut out my antlers. Let's just cut that. There you go. One antler. Two. So children, if you're doing this at home, please make sure you are you have an adult present because we don't want you chopping off your fingers with the very, very sharp scissors now. Next week, we'll teach you how to make moonshine. <laughs> I could be a good kids TV presenter, I reckon. As long as I could like, not swear, I'd be all right. Here we go. So once you cut out your anglers, what do I do next? Sellotape. Stick them on. Step four, use sellotape to stick your antlers to your headband. Yes, here we go. Stick on my antlers. Doing it. Step five, pop them on your head and pretend to be a reindeer. Right. Are you ready? Let's go. Do I look like a reindeer is the question. There you go. I am a reindeer. Living it up. <laughs> what noise do rain what noise do reindeer make? Moo. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. How to make your own antlers. Sorted. Right, hit subscribe and we'll see you soon. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do like a David Attenborough and go undercover and see if I can like <laughs> get in with a reindeer and you know become one of the one of the herd so to speak. What do you think? <laughs> right, so I've got my antlers and I'm like gonna go like undercover 
and see if I can become like one of the herd kind of thing because they're like they're chilling out near me and I don't think they've noticed I'm here yet I'll just pretend to like be eating grass and stuff and see if they like accept me and then maybe I'll get to meet Santa ah. see you thought I was being stupid didn't you but there's a plan there's always a plan <laughs> Hit subscribe, see you soon. <laughs>
lovely adventure stuff to clamber up. It's quite slippery because it's bucking it down. So I'm going to turn the camera off and catch you in a minute. And still it goes on. And on and on and on and on and on. Wow. You've been climbing for maybe five, ten minutes. And it's still relentless. Up, up, up. With no end in sight. Very, very steep. Oh, nice big knee ups. There's a lovely old tree roots. I just get in the way in a good way. Oh, a bit of shelter from the rain. Okay, out of breath, man. It's decent. Whew. About 150 meters of elevation walking up that thing in quite a short space. Roots some nice. Oh, Jesus, there was a step there. Uh, Roots some nice boards. Oh, that ended rather quickly. We're back, <laughs> we're back to trails. Okay. Are we going down or are we going up? This is the question. Uh, I think it's a deceiver. I think we're going to go back up. Check out this view. Oh my gosh. Kengal Mountains. Snow coming off of them. The lush green trees below. I mean, we are probably four or five hundred meters up, I think, about now. It gives you some idea how tall them bad boys are. We're climbing some of that tomorrow. Woohoo! And that's it. That concludes our little walk from uh, Glenmore Campsite to Glenmore Visitor Centre to the Reindeer Centre to Loch Eniac. I've probably said that completely wrong. Apologise if I have. Green Loch. Do the little loop around, up the stony steps, come all the way back down to the Glenmore Visitor Centre and Cafe, and then back to the campsite. Total distance is about six and a half K, because I started my watch late, so I'm guessing, but it's going to be about six, six and a half K. Nice little walk, it's taking about an hour and a half, and that's including nipping into the reindeers for a quarter of an hour or so, and, having, and checking them out. Please subscribe, see you soon.